Hey girl, hey. I bet you ain't get on here to see me put my hair up. Hold on a second. I don't know why I didn't get this straight before I started. I'm trying to get my boobs in frame. Do you see, girl, do you see them? Like they deserve to be shown off. Like you don't understand the struggle in the itty bitty committee. But ever since I got pregnant, uh, 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 get started with the video. So I guess they just, they can't be in. Um, hey girl, hey, my name is Ish. Typically, I'm doing vlogs, but right now I'm making a very strong effort to record more of my pregnancy journey. I am currently halfway through, 20 something weeks pregnant and have four months to go. I am currently pregnant with my second child. This is going to be two and through, this is it. So I'm really trying to just go out with a bang. What I didn't do with the first pregnancy, I'm trying to do more of with this pregnancy. If you've been pregnant before, then you know where you heard the first trimester sucks ass and I ain't feel like doing nothing. And the second trimester, what I like to call it is like, it's the eye of the storm. So you feel your best the second trimester. The third trimester, you start to slow down more. You're bigger, you, um, or at least for me, I was bigger and I slowed down and I became more agitated. So I'm just trying to do as much as I can. Again, with this pregnancy, because this is going to be the last pregnancy. So in this video, I am going to be sharing with you what I did the last time to prevent stretch marks. At least what I thought I did to prevent stretch marks. It is said that um, it is genetics. So if other women and especially your mother got stretch marks, you are probably going to get stretch marks too. So for me, my mother had four children and has zero stretch marks. So. Um, I still decided to do take a couple um, precautions to make sure that I didn't get any stretch marks with my expanding belly. And in the second trimester, that's when your baby grows the fastest and that's where the stretch marks come in at. Like your skin doesn't really have time to adjust and it's like tiny little tears. I've read that your stretch marks diminish some after you give birth, but I think a lot of them are there to stay. Um, as you saw already, um, what I do, and I've read, I've, I've come up with that concoction um, again during my research with my first pregnancy, and that was two years ago. So what I believe um, or why I decided to go with vitamin E. I, it has skin rejuvenating benefits and it can help with scars. Um, and I decided not to take the pill. I wanted something that I can actually rub onto the skin um, in combination with lotion. So I just use whatever lotion is that I have. Um, last time I used something way more thick, it was, I could not, this vitamin E is so freaking viscous, you can't, it would be super hard to put onto your skin by itself. Um, so I combine it with my lotion, that's why I do it. Um, and it's also said it's best um, to keep your skin moisturized as it's stretching, it helps to minimize the itching. And I notice that my stomach is starting to itch. Recap. I use the vitamin E lotion to moisturize my stomach to help with the itching and hopefully prevent any stretch marks. All right, that's it. Um, I'm not gonna be doing too much more of the sit down videos. I personally prefer to do vlogs, but like I said, I'm just trying to capture more and more of my pregnancy journey. Um, and I hope that this video was helpful to you in some type of way and if you know someone like another mom or mom to be that can benefit from this, please do share it with them. Give this video a thumbs up so other moms can find it. Oh, you know what you can do? Leave a comment down below. What did you use on your stomach to prevent stretch marks? Leave it down below for other moms to see. And until you see me again, many blessings to you. Peace.